We're at Swanwick Marina today to take a look at the Prestige 42S. Now this model had a short but prolific lifespan. Juneau built 175 of these between 2007 and 2011. However, the vast majority of them stayed in France and the Mediterranean. So when one came up for sale in the UK, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to take a closer look. So let's jump on board and find out what made this range so popular. This Michael Peters hull started life in 2006 as the Juno Prestige 42 Fly. However, in 2007, when Juno got round to creating the sports cruiser version, things had changed a little bit. Volvo Penta's IPS system had taken the market by storm, so Juno duly brought in to the pod drive revolution, fitting IPS 500 to each and every model. The result is that this is a supremely easy boat to moor, with the joystick control making even the slightest of adjustments an absolute breeze. And there's no shortage of outright power. With 370 horsepower on either side, you'll be doing 35 knots flat out. Now this is your main socialising space, just over to the port side from the helm position. As you can see, there's plenty of space around here for six people to enjoy a drink or even a light meal. The front bolster is reclined slightly, which gives you a chaise long effect for soaking up the rays when this enormous sunroof slides open. And down towards the bows, you've got another sunbathing area, and then back to the transom, you've got a third sunbathing area. Underneath that, there is a tender garage, which sits flush with the teak bathing platform, making it even easier to launch your inflatable. Down here in the master cabin now, and you've got a fantastic space to really make your own. Okay, the headroom is a little restricted, but to get a full beam master suite like this, and a VIP in the bows, both with their own ensuite on a 42 foot hull, really is excellent value for two touring couples. If you do want to bring the kids along, you can always convert the central dinette into a third bunk. However, you might want to fit a couple of blinds to block out the light coming in through the skylight there. Later Prestige models, such as the 420, added a central staircase directly down into the master cabin. However, what this model loses in privacy by sharing a single companionway, it more than makes up for in living space. Down here you've got plenty of storage space, your own TV, and enough room on either side of the bed to get up in the morning. Now French brands are notorious for luring you in with a low starting price and then hitting you with a long list of optional extras. But because this is a prestige and that's Juno's premium mark, that simply isn't the case here. Everything you see is standard fitment. The only optional extra that was offered was a sliding glass door to completely seal off the cockpit. As a result, there's not a huge variation in what's on the market. Just make sure the IPS drives have been well looked after and regularly serviced. This particular hull lived on for two more years after Juno pulled the plug in 2011 as the Prestige 440. And that was largely a aesthetic redesign in terms of the wood finish and the upholstery. And there are a couple of those available on the market, most of them moored in the med. The 42S we've been on today is a 2008 model with 420 engine hours on the clock. She's on the market through Clipper Marine for just under £150,000. Our full report on the Prestige 42S will be published in the September edition of Motorboat and Yachting. Mm -hmm.